clubs, Indian swinging clubs for uh, strength, hand strength, grip strength, one of the best things you can do for self-defense, for striking, for grappling. Build your power, build your strength, build uh, speed, strength, flexibility, and wellness into your arms, your hands, your wrists, and your shoulders using Indian swinging clubs. This Indian swinging clubs workout and exercise routine will get you fit very fast. Also, you're gonna start with one in each hand. Your hand will slide down here to the end and it's gonna cut that ball right in the middle. You're gonna close your hand without squeezing it hard. You're gonna keep it firm so it doesn't come out of your hand during the workout. We're gonna warm up first, put one in each hand and you're gonna drop them slowly to the front and bring it around. Nice and easy, I'm starting with two pounds. You should start with one pound if you've never done it before. Always go as light as you can, or start with sticks. I started with sticks. Hello, awkward cats, good to see you. Before I had Indian swinging clubs, I had sticks. Hello, Peter, it's good to see you. And then I taped weights. I literally taped little lead weights on the ends to make them heavier. It's my pleasure, thank you for being here. Just slow and easy, just going forward and keep your hand closed the whole time as you're warming up the wrists, getting blood to flow into the joint. Now from here, we're gonna to continue to warm up, but we're gonna go into the arms and the shoulders and this Indian swinging club exercise and workout routine, you're gonna let them drop behind you. You don't wanna control the weight. You bring it up, but then you let it drop. And as you let it drop, you'll see that it's pulling, the weight is pulling my arms back which means more flexibility, more mobility in your shoulders. You're gonna get stronger, faster using Indian club swinging exercises in this Indian club workout routine. Pull your stomach up and in, abs tight. Let the weight pull you from side to side. Hello, Phil, it's good to see you. Phil's in England, Peter's in Germany. Awkward the cat, where are you today? You're just going down and back. W9 UFO, where are you watching from this afternoon? Just do this for about 30 seconds. Don't force it, don't push it. Let the weight of the clubs do the work. One other thing, as you're doing this warm up, the more you bend your elbow, or the opposite is true, the less you bend your elbow, the more flexibility you're gonna get when it's not bent. If it's bent a lot, you're gonna have, hello Matthew, it's good to see you. You're gonna have, yeah, Matthew asked for the email in case you guys want to email. With your elbow bent, you're not bringing the shoulders back much. So you can do that at the beginning. Opera the Cats in Georgia. Start to straighten those arms out. As you straighten those arms out, that's gonna pull those arms back more. You're gonna get a better stretch into the shoulder. And so if your shoulders aren't ready for that much stretch, keep them bent. Now, after you've done this for 30 seconds, I want you to split that motion. So my email, I have a lot of different emails, but I'll give you one or two, hopefully, it'll work for you. I'll only give you a couple because I wanna make sure you can reach me and sometimes if you misspell my last name, you won't be able to reach, reach me, but it's my last name, Pasquinelli at hotmail.com, at hotmail.com or gmail.com, I have both of those. Or you can do info, I-N-F-O, at quantumstrong.com. That comes here to the martial arts school. By splitting these up, you get a better stretch on each side. Pull your stomach up and in, abs tight, and you should be able to see my feet in the mirror behind me. When you bring your heels together and you turn your feet out like a duck, so I don't know, without changing the camera angle too much, I'm gonna drop it a little bit. But I want you to see this, you're gonna get a better workout with your Indian Swing Club exercise and routine when you can start with your feet here and then turn them out a little bit, get your back straight, Pull your stomach up and in, abs tight. You're pulling everything up into your solar plexus. You're pulling them up into your diaphragm. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. And then go through this exercise routine, working with your Indian swinging clubs. You're gonna fire all the muscles in your core and your feet and your legs, shoulders, upper arms. It's a full body workout. Now, we're gonna go back to that wrist rotation and we're gonna throw it into the other two parts of the warm up. You're going forward and then reverse. Remember, start super light, a pair of sticks is a good way to start, and then gradually work yourself up. I put a link below if you wanna buy your own pair of Indian swinging clubs. And get, start with the inexpensive ones like this. 
they'll last you forever. You can't break these. And they're, they usually come in sets of one pound, two pounds. Sometimes you can get three pounds. But start light. Don't think you're super strong. I made this mistake. I thought, well, I'm a big guy. I'm strong. And I went with five pounds, and I couldn't use them. I could barely use them for anything. Always go light because you'll hurt yourself if you don't. Yeah, Steven says he loves working out with his clubs. So heels together, stomach up and in. We're going to add that rotation as you go down, and then we're going to do that same rotation backward up. So you spin down and spin up. Just going down and up, back up a little bit. So you can see more what it looks like at the top. Do that for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna go back to that split, but you're gonna do the same thing down and the same thing up. Now this looks super simple and you might get it right away but a lot of times it's gonna be very elusive, so you might wanna do one hand and then the other hand a couple times. And then when you're ready, try to do them at the same time. But if you don't get it right away, that's okay. Get your ego out of the way. Be okay with not being good at it at first. You will be when you don't give up, when you don't quit. And that's your warm up. Now, I'm gonna show you the basic mill using the Indian Swinging Club. This is Indian Swinging Club workout and exercise routine. You're gonna start with your right or left hand. Whichever hand you prefer, doesn't matter because you're gonna do them both evenly. Heels together, toes turn out like a duck, stomach up and in, shoulders back and down, drop your chin a little bit, and you're gonna bring this hand in and back. So you're gonna come in, Cross the body and back. Thank you for that, Studer. I appreciate that. Studer is going to be here tomorrow. A little bit of an injury, so Studer, I hope we can connect before you leave the beautiful, sunny state of Florida. But either way, I hope you're doing well. I really appreciate that. So you're just going to do this back and up, out and up. Just do this motion, a good 30 seconds. You're going to feel that in the front of the shoulder. And the great thing about Indian Swinging Club exercise and workout routine is that each move hits a different part of your shoulder. By the time you're done, you get the blood, you get the plasma, you get the oxygen into the muscles, cartilage, the ligaments, the tendons, the joint, the, the bone itself. And all of that leads to healthier, stronger, more flexible, more durable shoulders, less pain. When I started doing Indian swinging clubs, my pain changed dramatically. I used to have, I would, I, when I was in the military, many, on multiple occasions, I had seen a doctor, had MRIs, more than two or three, on each shoulder, and I was told, you have torn sh shoulder cuffs, uh, rotator cuffs, you're going to need surgery. We can fix that with surgery. We just need to schedule it. And then I would see a physical therapist who would say, don't do that. <laughs> Get Indian swinging clubs. And I resisted until... It, he showed me the routine using a pair of sticks. I made my own pair of sticks, or cut a stick in half, started doing that, and since then until now, I've never had any more shoulder pain. I, I, I get tightness, and I get pinched, and I get stuff like that, but I can work it out with a pair of these very quickly. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying this is medical advice. What I'm telling you is that it's worked for me. It might work for you. Bring it here, open the elbow, and then you're going to cast the club and let it drop. Open the elbow, cast, and let it drop. The only thing that I think works the shoulders more is using the wooden sword, the boken. So from here, open and push. Here, open and push. If you want to be a great martial artist, you want to be able to defend yourself really well, you need really good, healthy, strong shoulders, forearm, elbows, hand, grip, and Indian swinging clubs will do that for you. Indian uh, swinging club exercises and workout routine is always going to build the martial arts muscle, flexibility, strength. It's what I call old man strength, old woman strength. It's one of those exercises young people sometimes have a hard time getting their head around because it's not lifting weights. It's moving a small weight over and over and over through a full range of motion to build wicked power and strength all the way through 
that chain. All your strikes become faster. So this mill, so I come here, it's three parts. My elbow opens, and see how that puts it behind my head? I have never hit myself in the back of the head. You will not hit yourself in the back of your head. You're gonna pull this here, you're gonna open this elbow, and it's gonna place it behind your head, and when you cast it, like you're casting a fishing pole, you let it drop. One, two, three. And then bring the other one up, elbow open, cast. One, two, three. Stomach up and in, drop your chin a little bit, abs tight. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, but really overemphasize this. When I teach you in person, I see this and then a turning of the wrist most of the time. So people will come to here, turn here and let it drop. This is not it, that's the wrist. You want the elbow, think elbow, or chick. I think chicken wing. Open your chicken wing. Bring it open, good. From here. So that's the basic mill. Now, you're gonna reverse that. So I start here, like I have my shield in front of my face. And here's another part that's really important. My knuckles are pointing to the sky Almost like I'm hitching a ride. The thumb's down, but if it were out, I'd be hitching a ride. Not like this. So if I'm here and I reverse everything, I'm gonna bring that across the body and down, cutting it out, and then my palm is facing behind me. I'm gonna turn the wrist over as I bring the elbow back across my body. So you're gonna bring your elbow back across your body, let it drop, Pull your stomach up and in, put your heels together, drop your chin, abs tight, turn your shoulders, turn your hips. When you're learning self-defense or you're training your self-defense skills to create maximum stopping power, you need extension, rotation of the shoulders and hips, and body movement. Working with the Indian Swinging Clubs, this Indian, hello Doug, Indian Swinging Club exercises and workout routine will help you especially with rotation of the shoulders and hips, going through your transverse plane. Bring the other one out, turn your elbow, bring that, or and your wrist, bring your elbow across the body, let it cut down, bring it across your body, cutting down. You're just doing this mill in reverse, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, stomach up and in, abs tight, tuck your chin, shoulders back and down. Get your chest up. A lot of times, just pulling your chest up will do it. A lot, if, if you're like this all the time, it leads to a lot of neck pain, back pain, uh, upper back pain. So pull those shoulders back, but also pull your chest up while keeping your chin down. Now, after you've done this for 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna have you go back to the forward motion, and I'm gonna have you do it with both hands at the same time. So you're gonna bring both hands in Open cast, in open cast. Working with Indian swinging club exercises and workout routines allows you to become very ambidextrous. One hand goes in front and then the other hand. So this is my right hand without the watch. Right hand is in front of the left hand. Second time, the left hand is now with the watch in front of the right hand. Slow is smooth, accentuate that opening of the chest, really open the chest, throw it, and drop. One, two. Stomach up and in, keep your abs tight. After you do this for 30 seconds, reverse it, pulling it out, in, and let it drop. And if you don't get every single motion, that's okay. You'll get it when you don't quit. Get what you can today. And then come back, do it again tomorrow, do it again the next day. And if you don't have Indian swinging clubs, don't wait to start. Put a stick in each hand. Do the same thing with a stick. You're still gonna get lots of value. You're still gonna get blood into your shoulders, plasma, oxygen. You're gonna loosen them up. You're gonna build strength. You're gonna improve your posture, speed of your strikes, the power of your grip for grappling, for striking, for blocking. You're gonna become a better, stronger, faster, more powerful version of yourself, your own bodyguard, your own self-protection specialist. So bring it in, bring it in. And now I have the third one that I want you to do, which is based on the basic mill. So we started with just one hand in isolation. 
Now we've done two hands together, put the heels together, stomach up and in, drop the chin, abs tight, shoulders back and down, lift that chest. You're gonna bring one hand in, and as you start to cast, bring the other hand through. Do the same thing, one side. Notice how I start to really swing my Indian swinging clubs as I go through this basic Indian swinging club exercise and workout routine. I want to get some flow. I want to move smoothly as much as I can. But if I don't get it, if you don't get it, don't get mad at yourself. Don't find a reason why you can't. Stop saying everything you won't do. Try something new, get out of your own way. You grow when you're out of your comfort zone. That's the only way, right? Now, you're gonna reverse that. So you bring one in as it starts to cut, then the other one starts to come up. Same thing, drop that chin, pull that stomach up and in. Just squeezing your belly up and in during this whole workout routine is gonna make you leaner, taller, better posture, less back pain, just from good technique. When you focus on pulling that belly up and in, keeping everything nice and strong, nice and tight. Now you've done that for 30 seconds. You've done all three basic exercises with the mill. You did the one in isolation. You did two at the same time. And then you did alternating your mill. Now I want you to make it like step it up a little bit fancier. You're going to start on one shoulder and you can see from the mirror behind me, I'm looking in this direction. So right now I'm 180 degrees uh, or 90 degrees from you, right? So I'm, I'm perpendicular to you, but I'm facing this way. We'll call that north. And I'm going to turn and face the south. Then I turn, come back to the north. Now this is the motion you started out in. And that's what you're doing here. You're facing this way. You go down, and as it comes up, you're facing the exact 180 degree turn. Now, I know you can't really see my feet that well, but they're simply facing this way, and they're turning and facing that way. There's nothing fancy with your feet that you have to do. Just turn from one side and face the other side. If you're looking this way, you go down. And by the way, if you like these exercises where I show you how to get stronger, or how to defend yourself, how to get better at martial arts, or how to fight with sticks better, Give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, please. So from here, I go down and let it turn me. Down and up. Stomach up and in. This is where you're gonna start to break the sweat. Make sure you're getting a nice full turn. Turn your head and see where you're going from side to side. Again, don't worry about your feet so much yet. Just point your feet in the direction your body's going. Wherever your head goes, that's where your feet go. Good, and you're not done yet because I want you to make it a little bit more complex. And so when you drop it, add that twisting motion. So you're going to go down. Again, this is where you started your warm up in this workout, an Indian swinging club workout and exercise routine, or Indian swinging club exercises and workout routine, whichever one comes first. In your mind, you're gonna drop it, and then you're gonna add a spin as you come up. So we'll go, down and up. And if it's easier just to do one, just the down motion first, you can do that for 30 seconds. We'll put the other one in in a second, or in 30 seconds, more precisely. Now let's do that. Let's drop it and then add it in. So we spin down, spin as you come up. Down, up, and again, the whole value that you're going to get out of this, the reason that you're doing it this way is that you're going to increase your rate of work. You're going to do more exercise, fire more muscle groups, get stronger, get leaner, burn more calories in every single workout while you're also building a vice grip for grappling, for striking, for blocking, for self-defense. So from here, suck that stomach up and in. Drop the chin, chest up, and it doesn't have to be fast, it just has to flow. We want time under tension. The number of repetitions doesn't matter. Don't worry about counting how many, count how long. Go for at least 30 seconds, two minutes is best, 
after two minutes, after about five minutes, really, once you, get, once you do this for a while, after about five minutes, you start to reach the point of dimish, diminishing returns. So it's better, if you can do this easily for five minutes, get a heavier weight. Or like I said, if you're starting with sticks, you can tape, you know those little water bottles, they sell the little kitty water bottles, you, you drink them, and then you stick heavy, like uh, rocks, little pebbles, or sand, if you can get sand, put sand in those, and then tape them on to the end of your stick. They're like the perfect size. If you put one, two, three, and you tape them on, and that's, I've done that. I've done that when I haven't had anything but a stick and little water bottles. You put some sand in there, and then that's gonna make it way close to a pound or half a pound or a pound and a half, depending on how much you can get in there. So do that, work your way up to this motion, and then, if you still have um, some energy left, I want you to get in a good fighting position with your hands up, up to here, almost like a, a guarded position. And I want you to punch and turn, punch and turn, slow and smooth. This is not about speed. This is about turning over in that full extension of the punch with a levered weight in your hand. So not just a weight, but a levered weight. This is gonna help, you're gonna feel this in the back of your shoulder. You're gonna feel it back here, especially as you get stronger. Then I want you to come up with your elbows. Come up with your elbows. And you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And you can do this in a fighting position. If you wanted to keep those heels together, the feet turned out, you verted like a duck, you can. I like to do it in a fighting position. And then I want you to bring your elbows through and across. Make sure you have a good firm grip so you don't smack yourself in the head. But if you do, that's good. It's gonna make you stronger. You're gonna feel this up and in here. And this is going to build strength and speed and power for those knockout punches. And again, it's just, it's just taking a weight, putting it up here and keeping those hands up. You can build an endurance in your guard so they can't knock you out because your hands get tired and drop. Worst thing you can do is drop your hands. Don't ever drop your hands. Let the other guy get tired. You'll get tired too, but you choose not to drop your hands. Let him drop his hands. But to make it easier for you, condition yourself with Indian swinging club exercises and workout routine by finishing with these basic boxing motions and elbows, Muay Thai, self-defense, after 30 seconds, you still have some juice and you still have some time. Go back to your punching and then elbows and then elbows. You put them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to bring it down over the top, you can finish with that. And each one, each time you do that, go slow at first, but you're going to feel how it fires different parts of but for muscles in your body. Just like I teach when I teach this kind of stuff in person, I teach this and uh, weapon retention and how to present your uh, self-defense tool. It, it, the more you do with uh, some resistance, we use resistance bands and a trainer, one of these, and that allows you to build a wicked strong presentation so that people can't just rip it out of your hands for self-defense and your accuracy is improved dramatically plus your common sense and your understanding of how to handle this self-defense tool. You guys have been awesome. Again, Studer, thanks so much. I hope to see you before you head back up. And um, I'll be back here.